armature to make. I'm just going to make a, a standard medium armature. You need two pieces of 12 gauge copper wire. Okay, this one is 16 inches. 16 inches. And there's one 10 inches. Okay. You need two pieces of wire. And you electricians in here might under appreciate this. I want, I have the, a crimp sleeve that um, I bought from Home Depot. Comes in a pack of 50 of them. This one is a 14 8. It's a little bit bigger than the smaller one that I have. The smaller one, crimp sleeve, comes in a pack of 100. This is a 18 10. Okay, so I have two crimp sleeves. Okay, and that's all I need for armature. That and a base. Okay, and some play, which I'll show you. Take the 16 inch wire, bend it in half. Okay, straight in half. You can crimp it for all you really strong guys, you could probably do it with your hands. So just fold it in half, right? 16 inch. Take the 10 inch one, do the same thing. Bend it in half. Okay. Take, take the large crimp sleeve and feed it. Like that. Take the smaller wire that that was fed through the with the long wire. Take the the shorter wire and put it right right there like that. Leave about an inch. Leave about an inch. and everything's approximate, right? Everything. Okay. Leave about an inch and crimp it. Take that and crimp it. You can crimp it for years. I crimped it with a regular pair of pliers like this and, and it works. But one day Jim Heiser comes up to me and says, hey, I have an extra pair of crimping pliers. Would you like it? Jim is now my best friend. Okay, so so see what I did? Can you see that this little protrusion here is gonna be the head? And can you see that these are gonna be the arms? Okay, now we need, we need the feet. So we're gonna slip the smaller crimp sleeve again through the bottom. And this is gonna be where the legs split off. I'm gonna leave about another inch. Okay, I'm going to leave about another inch and I'm going to crimp this. Okay. Now, now I'm going to, now I'm going to make the legs. See the legs? And I, now I'm going to bend it because one thing I love to, in my design, to pay attention to are the hips. Okay, because the hips create a lot of action. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna fold it so there's some hips there, there. And the shoulders also, the shoulders create a lot of action. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna bend this so that there's a little room for shoulders here. That's your armature. I, I used to solder these together. It took so long. But now, the, the, how long did that take? A couple of minutes, maybe? And then now, you know, let, let's, let's get, uh, I'm trying to think of uh, uh, an action or activity. Let's, let's have a guy, um, uh, feeding himself, eating him, you know, eating, okay? So let, let's, let's put, 
let's I'm gonna I'm gonna stick this into one of the holes. Like this. And you're probably wondering, well, where are the feet, right? Where are the feet? I used to, oh, this is another thing I did. I used to, I used to fold the end like this and then tack, tack it down with nails and bend it over. What a pain. This is so much easier. Just do this. And if you really like it, you can stick a little wood glue in there or hold it. And then, and then you're going, well, where are the feet? We're going to put those in when we put the clay. We'll just stick the feet in whatever direction it is. So it's so fast. Okay, so, so right now, this is a pretty static figure. There's no elbows or there's no knees, right? So let, let's, let's put an elbow and a knee in here. 